everyone, and welcome back to Life is Strange, Episode 2. She looks busy and stressed. She does. Hello? Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Mm, I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Jeez, people are very social here. I'll go to the diner, mom will feed you. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so... I'm gonna head this way because there's some things I have to do. Actually, wait, now that we're here. Let's take a photo of the whale. That is in the next photo. Now let's go to the back. Over here. There's a homeless woman. We don't have to talk to her, it's up to you, but uh, maybe we will, I'm not sure. Let's uh, first come over here and take a picture of his puppy. Dougie! He's fast asleep, that guy. I'm surprised a dog doesn't notice me. So yeah, that's uh, two tabs in her journal. Oh. Here's some new journal entries. There you go. And there's some more pictures. We're getting, uh, kind of started with this. Let's talk to her, I guess. Hello, miss. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Um, Arcadia Bay. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes? <laughs> what changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Oh. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Mm, I'm not gonna talk to her I have about to go Prescott. Now. Goodbye. However, I have spoken to this woman before, and when you talk about Joyce, um, Joyce apparently feeds her a lot, actually. So, that, Joyce is pretty, Joyce is, um, Chloe's mother, who works at the diner, and she's very nice to that homeless woman. Just wanted to say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go in here. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. <laughs> Um, Kate Marsh, love you long time. Why do people talk about bitches in here? Flush before pissing on floor. <laughs> okay. Ew, disgusting. Um, there's graffiti here. I'm supposed to take a photo of this one for some reason. Don't ask why. That's part of the plan. I think it's fire walk with me or something. Yeah, the fire walk with me or something like that. Something close to that. A lot of the pictures at the beginning of this episode, I noticed. I guess we'll just uh, sit in this booth over here. There she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. 
Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. <laughs> You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Mm-hmm. Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. <laughs> Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I... I get it. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? I don't like bacon. I'm a vegetarian. So how about the waffle? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. <laughs> I'm not a big coffee person either. I want those childs in disguise, even though I'm 19. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I oh, this is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Huh? What are you talking about, girl? We're not going to time right now. The only now. thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. That ain't a lie. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. Nerd graffiti. No beer? Warren must have been here. It looks like you had plenty. <laughs> Stick with the bacon. Where's my waffle, lady? I want my waffle. This floor Order definitely ready. needs to be cleaned, though. Shit. <laughs> No beer? What, what the lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Who fucking goes to a I guess little diner I actually for can beer? Now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. 
Max is a good... You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Okay, let's do it. Come on, go faster. There we go. Okay. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Keys. Your car keys. Duh! Um... Panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Um, money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Shit, um, I think 10.34 a.m., yeah. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Did I blow your mind? My baseballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. You still have doubt? I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? really? No, no refill, refill for, for you. you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick! Don't Bye. slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! That jukebox, that cockroach. I remember this, yeah. That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened.
Alright, let's do it. There we go. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Um... Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good! Can't wait to see what happens! And then the cockroach. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops! Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. Then he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use Screw it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings wow. attached, rewind time, and BOOM! It's like it never happened! Grow <laughs> up. Well. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. No. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play! I don't have time. <laughs> you did not anyone. just say that. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, that's check funny, out your I'll nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then... Let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. I'm kind of nervous. So what up, girl? Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. People to do. Come on, before <laughs> mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? Wow. I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat <coughs> up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Chloe, calm the fuck down. Kate is uh, going through stress, like, damn. 